Good morning. My name is Rob Lee, and as Vice President for the PNCWA Board of Directors, it's my privilege to moderate today's award ceremony. You know, 2020 has truly been a year that we will never forget. And there's been a lot in this year that has been traumatic, even painful. But I'm hopeful that out of these challenges, we will emerge even better. That out of a pandemic, we will have learned how to care even more for those around us that out of the pain of our increasing awareness of racial injustice, we will start to see the writings of past wrongs, and that out of the devastation of wildfires, we will see an even greater emphasis on the importance of fighting climate change. And these efforts are gonna take the hard work of individuals and teams who are courageously willing to step up. And that's why in 2020, it's even more important for us to recognize the amazing contributions of this year's PNCWA award winners. You know, these awards would not have been possible without the dedication of the PNCWA awards committee chaired this year by Matt Neeson. So let's pause for a moment and give them a big round of applause. Please note that after the presentation of the awards, we will hold a brief gavel passing ceremony to welcome our incoming PNCWA president, Haley Falconer. So please remain connected for that very special event. And without further ado, let's begin. We'll begin with WEF Distinguished Honors and Awards. The WEF Delegate Service Award recognizes extraordinary contributions of a member association delegate to the Water Environment Federation. And this year's award recipient goes to Stephen Drangschult, Brown and Caldwell, Boise, Idaho. Stephen's been a board member since uh, 2013 and has been serving as a WEF delegate for the last several years. <laughs> WEF Life members acknowledges those who have been a member of the Water Environment Federation or a WEF member association for 35 or more consecutive years and have, are at least 65 years young. This year, we have one new life member. Miles Beach, City of Ocean Shores, Washington. Miles was a 2004 William D. Hatfield Award recipient, and we're honored to have Miles be inducted as a life member. The Stockholm Junior Water Prize is the most prestigious award given to a high school student for a water research project. We're honored that this year's Stockholm Junior Water Prize recipient hails from the Pacific Northwest. Zoe Gotthold, Richland High School, Richland, Washington. The Water Environment Federation recognizes outstanding young professionals nationally who have made significant contributions to our industry. And we're really excited that this year's recipient comes from the Pacific Northwest. The 2020 WEF Outstanding Young Professional Award goes to Christy Steiner, Portland, Oregon. Christy's currently serving on the WEF Student and Young Professionals Committee. She's a past PNCWA SNYP Committee Chair, and she's currently serving as a WEF Delegate and a member of the PNCWA Board of Directors. The Arthur Sidney Bedell Award. It was established to acknowledge those who have gone above and beyond in their dedication to a WEF member association. And this year's award recipient goes to Bud Ruther, Walla Walla, Washington. For outstanding performance, professionalism, and contributions to the water quality analysis profession, this year's Laboratory Analyst Excellence Award goes to Amanda Tobin. Pierce County, Washington. The Hatfield Award was established to acknowledge wastewater treatment plant operators' extraordinary performance and dedication. And this year's award winner is John Osga, Gig Harbor, Washington. Safety is a core value of PNCWA and the Water Environment Federation. And for this reason, the Burke Award, which recognizes a municipal or industrial treatment facility for outstanding safety record goes to the Dallas, Oregon Wastewater Treatment Plant operated by Jacobs. And now for the Pacific Northwest Clean Water Association Distinguished Honors and Awards. It's our honor to recognize women who have excelled in their career who have moved water issues forward, who have also served as a mentor to our young professionals in our industry. 
The essence of this award is to discover and reward exceptional women for their outstanding leadership, their mentoring skills, and their unique ideas that help them stand out from their colleagues. This year's Woman of the Year recipient goes to Nora Curtis, Utility Operations and Services Managing Director, Clean Water Services, Hillsborough, Oregon. The Individual Distinguished Achievement Award is presented to a PNCWA member who is most deserving of special recognition as a result of distinguished service rendered on behalf of our industry. And for all that this particular gentleman has contributed to our profession, the recipient of the 2020 Individual Distinguished Achievement Award goes to Mike Rainey. Prior to Mike's recent retirement, Mike served for 16 years as part of the PNCWA staff, and Mike was instrumental in identifying and cultivating leaders who would take PNCWA to the next level. The PNCWA Outstanding Young Professional of the Year Award goes to a young professional who have made significant contributions to PNCWA. This year's award recipient is Casey Gish. Brown and Caldwell, Seattle, Washington. The Lyman Ketchum Award goes to those who have made outstanding contributions in the field of wastewater collection systems, maintenance and operation. This year's Lyman Ketchum Award recipient is Eric Bergstrom, HDR. The PNCWA Stormwater Professional Excellence Award goes to those individuals who have made extraordinary contributions uh, to the stormwater profession. This year's award recipient is Marsha Davis with the City of Spokane, Washington. The Innovative Stormwater Award recognizes a project with unique innovative stormwater elements. This year's project award winner is the Whispering Fur Stormwater Park, Kitsap County, Washington. <laughs> to recognize and encourage projects that have sustainable design elements, the Sustainability Award this year goes to the City of Sandy, Oregon for their water recycling program. To recognize resource recovery programs that demonstrate outstanding performance in moving the concept of resource recovery forward in the Pacific Northwest region, the Excellence in Resource Recovery Award this year goes to the City of Gresham, Oregon's Wastewater Treatment Plant, the first treatment facility in the Pacific Northwest to reach energy net zero status. Every year, the PNCWA regions, Idaho, Oregon, Eastern Washington, and Western Washington select individuals to receive the Treatment Plant Operator and Collection Systems Operator of the Year awards. More than ever, this year during the pandemic, we've seen the public start to recognize what we've always known, the tremendous criticality and amazing work of our operators. The following are some of our top-notch frontline professionals. In 2020, our Idaho Operator of the Year Award winners are Brock Morrow from the Hayden Area Regional Sewer Board and Michael Krieger, City of Nampa, Idaho. In Oregon, our Treatment Plant Operator of the Year Award winner goes to Andrew Shepard, City of Newburgh, Oregon. And Collection System Operator of the Year Award in Oregon goes to Chris Camarena, City of Prairie City, Oregon. The Western Washington Treatment Operator of the Year Award goes to Virginia Schaefer, City of Tacoma. And Collection System Operator of the Year in Western Washington goes to Aaron Triano, Pierce County. The Eastern Washington Collection System Operator of the Year Award goes to Nate Saunders, City of Richland, Washington. And lastly, we want to recognize the amazing promise that our future holds by recognizing the recipients of the PNCWA scholarship. This year, scholarship recipients include Paul Harness, College of Western Idaho. 
Daniel Eisenberger, Red Rocks Community College. Elnaz Nakue, Oregon State University. Quincy Bowman, Lewis and Clark College. Josh Gottlieb, Portland State University. And Hilda Pacheco Garcia, University of Washington. Will you join me in congratulating our scholarship award recipients? And with that, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who stayed on to help acknowledge and congratulate all of this year's award recipients. I'd like to hand the mic now over to Adam McClendon.